Hi everyone, it's Michelle from A Noble Touch and today I'm going to show you how to use Win Movie Maker. This is what I use to edit my videos. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Win Movie Maker icon here. And this is the full function Win Movie Maker. So I did pay for this because I do monetize my videos um, on my YouTube channel. So you have the music you can use and everything um, is all legal. So <laughs> I would recommend, and, and it, it was like $80 or something like that um, to sign up for the full function, which is well worth it. So anyway, I have some old videos in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to import. Now for importing, you can scroll down here. You can either click this box with the plus sign in it, or you can go up here to import your files. So if you just want to click here and you can pick then of course, from your, um, from your videos or, or, you know, your files here. So I'll go to my SD file and I'm just going to find my files here <laughs> and Let's just pick this video here. And you know, of course you're going to have probably three or four videos you're going to import in um, that you're going to use. So here is the, the video I imported. Now to start off your video, you're going to go to this T right, right here, this text and credit. Click on this. This is going to be for the beginning of your video. So like your introduction. So they have many options you can use. You can watch over here you can just double click it and see what that looks like over here. Um, I like, like I said, there, there's many options you can use for your video. I like this one. So what I'm going to do is now click to apply to timeline up here. Now you can either click apply to timeline or you can drag it down here. So if you just want to drag it and put it in, it's right there. Now in order to edit your um, words on here, you just come up to over here, double click or click on it once. And then of course do your title here. So you just type in your title right there. Um, now once you do that, you can go here. Now, if you want to, I typically like to add some images. So I would go to video slash image over here and let me just pick here a couple pictures. Like if you hit the shift button and you click one and then click where you want to end, then that's going to pick up all three. And then of course I can click over here. Here, it says add to timeline and see all my pictures get added here. So then what I can do is click on my pictures and here will show the duration. I hope you can see this okay on this camera onto my computer. Sometimes lighting is iffy on a computer. Um, but here is the duration. Basically it's five seconds. If you want it three seconds to show, then just do three seconds. You can also change the colors here, the brightness, um, contrast, all that good stuff. Then you can go over here to motion and you can click to zoom in. Now, typically it says motion duration. This is what I pick the same length as my picture duration. So if my picture is five seconds, I do a motion duration of five seconds. If it's three seconds, I'll do three second duration uh, for the motion. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Hit OK. Go to the next one. Do the same thing. Just come over to the three lines over here. Click that. I'm going to just do a three second one for this quick video. It's already set for three. And then I can do a zoom out on this one. Hit OK. Same with this. Go to the three lines again. Change that to a three second. Three second, and let's just do it. Let me zoom in. Okay, so right here you have, if I play 
basically the beginning and then you'll see the motions here of your pictures, how they're going to come up like that. Okay. So now you want to go ahead and add into your video. So if you want to add your video, you can just hit add to timeline or you can drag it down. And of course, here comes your video. Now what you want to do in order to crop and splice your videos, like when you're setting up first and you know you have a lot of dead air, dead space, and you're getting okay, ready. So is... And just before you're going to talk, oops, I went too far. Just before you're going to talk there, so you're going to click this so it has this yellow highlighted line around the boxes. That means you're going to edit what's ever highlighted. So here I'm going to go over here to the scissors right there, click the scissors, and then make sure this portion's highlighted, go to the trash can, and just delete that. So then you can start your video okay, so this when you're talking. Okay, so we're cropping out before I'm going to talk right there. So again, and you can, you know, splice in between, make sure it's highlighted, and... Delete that portion out, and then of course I talk. Okay, so now we're going to attempt. Now, even if I wanted just to get rid of this portion here, I would just delete that. Okay, so that's how you're going to splice, um, or I'm trying to think what's this here. This is the trim video. That's the timing one. I don't typically use that. I basically use the trim, the scissors. Um, like I said, you can cut in anywhere in your video that you want to cut out or like say right here, I want to splice that. Say like this section here, I want to, or of course on a timer. let's just say split this and do a time elapse. Like if it's a, a long, you know, taking me a long time, I don't want you to have to sit through all this. So I want to speed this up. So I can split this. So it's just this portion here. And then what I'll do is go over here again to the three lines. Click here. I can speed it up to four. I wish it would go higher, but four is the highest it goes. Then I'll go to my audio take my volume and take it down to zero. And then you have just a quick blah, 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 blah. And then it goes into the talking. Typically on my time elapse is where I like to add my music. So I will show you how to add the music um, when we're all said and done. Of course, you can go here. If you click on these buttons here, you can, you know, see your whole thing or you can zoom it like this so I can see the end here. So I'll go to the end, say I'll add, um, like I'm going to add my pictures here again. And then of course I'm going to click over on the three dots. I will go through and, um, do my motions of course. And then here, same thing, click on the three dots, go to five seconds for this one, and uh, a zoom in. Okay, so basically, once you edit all your video, you get it all set and done, and you're ready to add your music, or first you're going to add your transition before you do your music. So your transitions are right here, and your transitions you can do some cool things. Um, you can do a zoom in effect over here. You'll see what the transitions do. You can do that. That's, you know, you can do a page curl transition where you're turning the page around zoom in. You know, there's just a lot of different transitions you can use and the transitions will be placed wherever there's a splice in your video. So I like to use uh, the cube transition and then I'm going to come up here to apply all and all my transitions are put in place. 
Now what I want to do here, hold on. Let's hit this plus button because I like it bigger where I can see uh, where I put my music in. It makes it easier for me to see where my music's going to go. So I'm going to go to my music, hit the music button. I like on and on. This is my music I typically pick for my videos. And then you're going to apply it to your timeline. So click on your music, apply to your timeline. You have a ton of music to choose from. The ones with the arrows here, um, I still haven't downloaded those. So like I said, there is a ton of music for you to choose from. Um, you know, you can just pick like cinematic, chill, my, you know, if you have your own music to upload. Um, there's sound effects you can throw in to, to your, to your videos if you would like. But anyway, down here on my music, I'm going to go ahead and play. And what I do is I typically go to my last picture before my video starts. So I would typically bring it right here. You're going to make sure this is highlighted down here and click the um, scissors to crop it. Then here I just delete this portion. I re-click on my music, go to the three lines again over here. And then for there's volume, fade in, fade out, and speed. So you can speed up your music. I just typically do the fade out here, like a one or two second fade out. So when um, you come to the end and see the nice transitions, the cube transitions when it's playing. So I'll have, I'll have a couple seconds fade out so it, it's smooth uh, when it goes in to the next clip. Now, like this one, say if I wanted to do some quick music to a time elapse, then I would just go to the spot where I want to put the music in. Of course, hit music. And where is it? Oh, here, go to my all. Um, and then what you can do is just drag it down to your spot. Basically, I want to crop it here. So make sure that's highlighted here. Crop it, delete this portion. And then again, go to the three lines and then do, do a quick fade out and okay. So when you have your time elapse here, which you took the music out, you have, it's just a so quick, I mean, my, my typical time lapses are, are longer. I'm just showing this in the video so you understand how to use it. And then, of course, um, we go to the end here. I like to put the music in. Of course, at the end, after you say goodbye, then drag your music back down here. And then your music will play. And then, of course, you can splice it here, remove that half, and then go into your three lines again. And I do a, a you know, one to two second fade out again. That way it just gives it a, a smoother ending because it'll fade out. So then once you're all said and done with your complete editing of your video, you're going to go to export up here, create a video, and then the format you want an MP4 for your YouTube's or your Vimeo uploads. And then you save, save the uh, movie to whatever you want to name it. Save to, so you can, you know, of course, browse where you want to save it to, and then hit export. And once it's all said and done, it will chime a bell letting you know it's um, done. And then you can upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or wherever 
platform uh, you would like. So thank you for joining me. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions regarding how I edit or if I can help you, I will be more than happy to help you. Just leave a comment. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I will have more videos coming. So thank you and you guys have a great day.